the ragamuffins on stage. Uh, I, uh, they, they asked me to find the worst musicians in, in the festival, so this, these are them. And uh, actually, they make quite a good sound. Then, gentlemen, we have Graham Hughes on the trombone. Perry Williams at the trumpet. Michael McQuaid. Um, a living, breathing legend on the banjo, ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Fats Waller. <laughs> and a similar legend on the double bass who needs no introduction, so I'm not going to give him any. <laughs> All right, Malcolm Scantley. <laughs> Those half-hearted cheers shows that your your popularity is on the way. Yeah, they'll be back. They, gentlemen, wearing the band uh, blazer, um, failed dwarf. <laughs> it is, of course, Nick Nicholas ridiculous himself. Nick Ward. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so the ragamuffins in full pelt. One, two, three, three, four. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to slow the tempo down and give you a number 
which Spats will tell you all about because he's singing on it. <laughs> yes, thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, this is a song from 1919. Uh, which is originally sung by a lady called Fanny Bryce at the Zeekfield Follies. And I used to play it for many years with the late Tommy Burton. He used to sing it uh, with his own particular lyrics, which we may give you today. Anyway, from 1919, Rose of Washington Square. They call her Rosie the model. She used to live up in the Bronx. But she wandered from there down to Washington Square and those bohemian honky tonks. One day she met Charlie Adams. He said he liked roses with stems. He asked her to pose for some pictures on the cover of Jim Jam Jam. And that's where she first got her start. And now she's devoted to art. They call her Rose. Of Washington Square, she's whimpering there in basement air. They call her Rose. It ain't our fancy clothes. They say her Roman numbers appeals to those artistic creatures bold. She's got plenty of those. Got no future, but boy, what a past that's grown. Up Washington Square. Oh, 
artistic creatures bold. She's got plenty of gold in second hand clothes. And that's love her. She's got the wrong way vampires flashed in the past. She's got no future, but boy, why?